Hi! We are back again. Wrapping up the Dawn Guard DLC. Today, I think first we are going to bolster the ranks. And to do that, we have to go speak with Istran about this Florentius person. So that we can find said Florentius person. This might be interesting. I actually forget this quest, mostly. Like, I remember bits and pieces, I think. We'll find out. He's around. Looks like he's upstairs. Okay, he's passed the fuck out, and Mr. Troll's just chilling here. Dude, can I can I pickpocket his shiny axe while he's or warhammer while he's sleeping? We're gonna quick save. Try it. Let me see if this thing works. That was really loud. And everyone is chill. But I didn't get the hammer, did I? No, I didn't. Damn. What if I kill him and then resurrect him again? It's kind of twisted. I don't think I'll do that. Uh, I'll go back to before I committed my transgression there. It was shiny, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Good morning. I need to find someone named Florentius. Know anything about him? Who said something? Soreen or Gunmar? I thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. I don't trust that man. And I don't want him here. Soreen thought we'd need his help. I suppose she's right. I shouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way. Last I heard of him, he was aiding the vigilance of Stendar at Runvald. He may still be there. If he can maintain some appearance of normalcy, I'll allow him to stay. Deal. Watch your back. Always do. Ooh, money. I'll take that. Trigger. I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. Trigger says hello. Alright, where are we going? That way. 
Let's go ahead and fast travel to the stables here. Wait. Unless there's a path. Yeah, stables. Okay. Trigger it, you rude ass bitch. Go on. Step, 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 step. My glasses are crooked. Where'd you come from? Got some cool horses here. It's pouring, the dragons are snoring. Wow. I cannot see shit. Skyrim physics! Yay! Oh. are sneaking. Let's see what we got. Some guy with shiny red stuff around his head. That is never a good sign. Nothing good ever came out of shiny red stuff. Do I have arrows? Yeah, I have arrows. Who's there? What was that? Nothing. Charmed Vigilance. Do I have one of these already? I don't remember, but I'll take it just in case. I'll take these two. Okay. Open the back. Uh, There's a doggy in here somewhere. I don't want to kill the doggy. Maybe we can just sneak around the doggy. Oh. I'm sorry, sir, but you are gonna have to go. Uh, any shinies? 13 shinies and an arrow. Ooh, healing. Healing is always good. So I want those. Can always use those.
hints anywhere as to what the hell's going on? More shinies? I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Serana, uh, you complain about everything though. Don't step in that and go. Uh, freaking masochist, weirdo. Shiny, 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 shiny. Book of Rest and Endings. That sounds emo. Let's see what this book is about. Does this give us any clue of what is going on here? Move it. The pages of this book are filled with obscure bits of cult mumbo jumbo, however, the following excerpt seems of some interest. Ritual for ending of Wrathman. From fifty fathers frozen in slave past, ripped from the rape loom, sunder the life wave, lock tight the in earth grip, hold firm and grave fast. I don't know what that means. Cool story, bro. Moving on. Box. Arrows. Eighteen. Fair. Healing. That's cool looking armor. I wonder if that fits chicks. My armor is better though, but I'm taking it anyway. Hurt you though. <gasps> That's okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Now go. Oh. Ah. Damn it, doggy. Son of, Son of a bitch. Done and done. Oh, one y'all took that one's head right off. Okay. those already though. Healing. Uh, Shh. Serena, tell your zombie shut up. Journal. Discovering rune ball two. That means we missed one. Discovering written I'm gonna read the first one first. Take that. Yes, thank you. Uh, Let's try to find Malachite ore. Not really. I would like to find that first journal. I must have walked right past it at some point. Uh, Another 
looking for shiny books. Uh, Serana, your zombie is actually getting on my nerves. With her weird groaning. There it is. Okay. Discovering Rune Vault. I have decided to document our expedition to find Rune Vault in my journals, with hopes that, should we fail, it will bring illumination to those who follow us. I myself have stood on the shoulders of academic giants to get where we are today, spending endless hours in libraries and private collections. I am certain that there is some artifact of great power to be found in those ruins, one that the Vigilants could find useful in their mission. I do not mean to sound pompous, but I feel as if I am on the precipice of my desti destiny with this quest. I am certain we are digging in the right place. I can feel it in my bones, and I dream of finding Runevald at night. Even in my waking hours, I can almost hear a reassuring voice telling me we are going the right way. The expedition has had a great deal of luck so far. After only a few weeks, the first tunnel broke through into a large shaft, leading downwards towards where I suspect to find Runevald. With just a few bits of carpentry, we've established our first base camp within the mountains. If we continue to be this fortuitous, we shall reach our goal in record time. M. Sidri. Now we can read the second one. More Exidri. Our luck continues. Not only do we continue to tunnel into caves and shafts that speed our descent, but struck multiple veins of precious ore. Now that the excavation has proven to be a financial success, the Vigilants have sent more supplies, materials, and workers to further the cause. I find myself unable to contain my glee at times, and have become prone to cheerful outbursts in front of the men. One might find this very out of character for me, but the men seem to share my enthusiasm. Never before have I worked with a group of so with a group so single minded in their pursuit. To have so many people working towards the same goal with little to no deviation from the task at hand is an uncanny blessing. Stendar be praised. With so much going well, I hesitate to document what seem like minor troubles in comparison. It must have something to do with the cramped spaces. But I have found myself prone to aches in my head. While these hardly deter me from my leadership role, I have found myself distracted at times. I have had many a conversation with the workers where I drift off, only to have them call me back to reality. Sometimes I lose, lose small amounts of time and can't remember what I've done. I am hoping this is nothing more than excitement of reaching our goal but I will try to keep note as we dig deeper. Perhaps a half tankard of ale before sleep will help me with these headaches. M. Sidri. Yeah. Shit was starting to get real already. Alright, back to business. Excuse me, Serana. Thank you.
there's another doggy. in there. Yep, do I want this? Shiny, money. Do I want that? Not really. Cool. Okay. Where'd you come from? A good kill. Poor puppy. I'm sad. Nope. Take to my knees. There's one. <sighs> Anything good over there? Nope. How about over here? Books! Journal number three. The damnable headaches. Minoran be merciful, I just can't seem to shake them. The workers have started to report them as well, but while their focus on conversation and civility may wane because of it, they have not swayed from their task. If anything, they seem to have doubled their efforts. I myself cannot seem to focus on anything other than the dig. I sit here now, studying some unearthed Nordic artifacts. Yet I feel a nagging call to see how the dig is progressing. The other day, without thinking, I picked up a shovel and started digging myself. Fortunately, no one seemed to find this unusual, which is a blessing. I'd hate for the vigilance of Minorin to think that I had lost my senses. As we dig, we uncover more Nordic ruins and architecture, but have yet to hit the main chamber. Every day I dream will finally reach Runevald, and I can't help but reflect on what this will mean to my reputation. My family will be so proud, especially my father, Minorn. He and mother have always been interested in my studies, even if my sister, Minorn, was not. But I'm most excited to reveal my findings to my colleagues, Minorn and Minorn, and perhaps my mentor, Minorn. Oh, won't they all be pleased? I don't think all their names were actually Minorn. Is there like a... I don't think there's a Daedra named Minorn. Is it a necromancer lady or something? Who the f is Minorn? Jokes! This is no joking matter. This is serial. I'll just take these other books though for my own personal library. Did I search you already? Nope. Thank you very much. Shh. Where 
getting close. Y'all, shh. Quit. to bend the wind. I didn't hear nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I was just hearing things. Yeah, totally just hearing things. Still gonna find whoever did that? Hmm. Nothing here after all. Oh. Volk. Oh, that one has a name. Oh. What happened? An arrow. Gold. Cure disease. Healing. Healing. Thank you. Money. Paradise. Why did they gotta bring doggies into this? They should just die by themselves. Back here, you little shit. Journal 4. I have found my muse, and her name is Menorn. I knew it. Reading back over old journals, I realize she has called to me from deep inside Runevault. She is the voice I've been hearing, the one who has called me ever downwards into the mountain. The vigilance, the workers, they hear her too. What joy to learn that I am not alone in her love. Oh, Manorn, how would we have ever found this place without you? 
As I write this, we are digging at the last bit of rock to get to you. Those without tools have started using their hands. I cannot write anymore. I must get back to work. Runvald awaits. Pretend the doggy is not there. Don't touch the doggy, Serana. Shh, shh, shh. Come on. Zambies. Scripture of Manorn. Oh boy. Also by Morik Sedri. Glory be to Manorn. Glory be to the mistress of all. My life for you, O oh beautiful savior. Where once my feeble ramblings seem so grand, I now realize they are but scratches on parchment, or worthy of you. Oh, that I could properly describe you. I would write a thousand testaments to you. Damn my tiny thoughts, if only I were wiser. Manorn asks that we bring more for her, more to worship her and do her bidding. I have sent word to the Hall of the Vigilance to come. A simple lie was told, for they would not understand. Not until they saw her, O oh glorious Manorn. But she is fearful. There are fools in this world that do not heed her beautiful voice. The guard, Florentius, sent from the beacon, he still prays to Arche, an absentee god who pales in p comparison to Manorn. I will pray to the goddess I can see, may he rot in his cage. Oh, sweet, sweet Manorn. Well, that doesn't look good for Mr. Florentius. Spooky noises. Hey, Florentius. Are you dead? There's Manorn. Manorn does not look very godly to me. Anybody there? No. I was sure I heard something. Well, you heard wrong, Mark. Go back to bed. Someone there? No. One down, two to go. Damn it. Okay, Minorn, it's girl time. String of things. Oh, shit. Shit. Nope. So much for Manorn. We'll take the staff though, that's kinda cool. And the key. Thank you very much, Miss Manorn. 
pleasure doing business with you. Try for vigilance. Arrows, gold, bolts. Where's that other guy? Where's that other guy? This place smells funny. Well, there's Florentius, but I'm still looking for this other dead dude. Priorities. Florentius isn't going anywhere. Where the hell is what's his face? Cheers. Fancy meeting you here. I knew you had it in you. Arke wasn't so sure. Between you and me, I think he didn't expect you to make it. Surprise. I knew it. I knew Arke would save me. I asked for help, and he sent you. You are a very welcome addition to this dreary place, my friend. I owe both you and Arke a great deal. I'm sure I'll manage to repay him later, but you, what can I do to thank you? You can meet me at Fort Dongard. I suppose I could. What, pray tell, is there? Isran. Isran? My health? That. Is this some kind of a joke? Did RK put you up to this? Maybe. Isran's done nothing but mock me. He's never given me the respect I deserve. Please? Look, I've just got myself out of quite a mess here, in case you haven't noticed. And while I appreciate your help, I... What's that? No, that's not what I... Yes, but... Are you sure? Really? Fine. RK says it's a good idea for me to go. I don't agree. Huh. But he's not the sort of fellow you can just ignore. I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard then. Don't worry. RK will show me the way. Cool. Now where the fuck is Morik? Are there no special signy things here? Where is dead dude? Oh, this was Morik, wasn't it? Yep. Varieties of Daedra. Canthropy. Okay. I got everything off my norn already. Cool! Now, is there an easy way out of here, or do we have to go all the way? Ooh, ooh, here we go. Sweet. Saw a lever in here somewhere. Yep, right there. Let's see what's in here first, though. Money. Card. That shield's kind of cool. Maybe I'll use the shield. farther down. That does not compute, but okay. Skyrim! Yay! We did not die. Stupid 
quieter. Fuck you. Uh oh. What else is coming to fight me? I can't see it, so I don't know how right. This is familiar though. Bears. Hi bears. Oh. It's just oh, that's just the cat. She's mad. Get wrecked, bears. This is really pretty. <gasps> fish! Look at the little fish! Look at them! I love them! One of them just disappeared though, what the hell? I've never oh. seen you use this color. Look at the fish! Dude! That is so cool, I have never noticed that before. Don't mind me just tripping out over fish over here. Now there's supposed to be something here. I thought this was where we got Baldur's Lucky Dagger. It doesn't. Did I get it already? Tolvald's cave. Let's move faster. The sun is. My horses are better losing their shit. Around. What the hell is even going on there? You gonna be okay? Do you know how to ride? I don't know about this one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god. That is terrifying. I love it. Okay, now I guess. Are we going back to Fort Dongard with our spazzy horse? Quick save in case it decides to crash because of the spazzy horse. Yes. That's real nice. Let's head on up here, make sure Florence has found his way back. Or up, I don't know if he's ever been here before. I'm back! I don't know where one's at. Oh. Well, now Indigo's freaking out. 
what the hell is going on with y'all? You're being weird. Hello, strange people. Everybody, doggies. There's someone. It's not glitching again. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. Sleep is for the Keep weak. Your eyes open. Spoken like a true insomniac. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. What the hell, Inigo? Well, I don't know if Florentius ever made it, or if he was supposed to make it, or if this game is glitching again. <sighs> like it always does. Money! We were probably supposed to find Florentius before we invaded Castle Volcahar. I'm guessing might be what's going on. I don't know what Inigo's problem is though. Yes. Hey. Well to that Marcus. Cause. Yeah, so maybe he'll show up eventually. Hopefully. We'll see. Hunting the monster next. We will find evidence of the vampire's whereabouts in Dawnstar. But that is yes. for the next video. For now, save. Thank you very much. And I will see you later.